Hey, what is going on, guys? Hope you are doing well. And yeah, I finally, I finally remembered my YouTube password. And here I am with a new video. Hope you guys will enjoy the video and let's start the show. Here you can see I have pre-soldered the motor terminals and the wires for beta solder joint. Here we are using two pairs of motors giving us four motors in total for a smooth four wheel drive experience. Alright folks, it's the motor mounting time, okay? So yeah, let's get this bad boys attached to our cardboard chassis. Okay guys, so for powering our car, I am using an SMD Arduino Uno. It's small but fits perfectly for our project. Alright everyone, here I am using L293D motor driver module to control our car. I have hooked up all four motor wires to it. For now, let's hit into the next step. To make this car wireless, I'm using AC05 Bluetooth module. For the connections, it's RX to DX, DX to RX, ground to ground, and VCC to the 5 volts. Easy peasy, right? Now, let's get this thing communicating. Alright guys, the mechanical part is all done, you know, and now let's move on to the next part, the fun part. So yeah, the lighting.
we will be adding front and back lights to our car but before we dive into the lights a quick shout out to our sponsor jlc pcb they are fantastic for affordable multi-layer pcbs perfect for hobbyists and electronic enthusiasts right now jlc pcb is running a promotion on six layer boards click on the link i shared to get ten dollar coupon and be amazed by their PCB quality and fast shipping. A huge thanks to JLCPCB for making all this possible. Okay, so here I have used white LEDs for the front lights and the red LEDs for the back giving us that authentic car look. Plus, each set comes with its own 220 ohms resistor for smooth and safe lighting. And yeah, it's all about attention to detail. Okay, so the lights are all set. Now it is the time to attach the wheels. Here you can see I have connected the car to the PC for uploading the code to the Arduino. I'm selecting the correct COM port and then compiling the code. Remember before uploading the code disconnect the Bluetooth module to avoid any upload failures. Now our car is ready to go. Okay, so the card is working perfectly 
but I want to give it a more professional look. So I'm using the custom PCBs for the lights to achieve better performance and customization. So yeah, let's build this custom light modules and see how it enhances our project. Alright, everything's in place and now let's put this baby to the test and see how it performs. So to everyone who has made it this far, thank you so much from bottom of my heart for your time and support. It truly means the world to me. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until next time, stay safe and keep smiling.